I'm going to show you how to build a screen printing press out of scrap wood and just a little bit of hardware. I mean, this is the kind of stuff that you can find lighting on the side of the road, you know, from, from people uh, renting bedding houses. A couple pieces here are old window trim. There's a little bit of 2x4 piece of plywood. Uh, just add a little bit of hardware that costs, costs almost nothing, and you got a screen printing press. So I'm going to show you how to build it. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is... I'm going to make parts for the clamp that actually holds on to the screen. So I'm going to take this part here, uh, I don't know how long this is, about five feet long. Uh, I'm not going to use the whole thing. And I'm going to rip it down into about two and a half inches just wide. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. Okay, I got my miter saw here. First thing I'm going to do is cut off this little uh, diagonal end here, just kind of so I have a flat end. There's that. And then I want to cut the, about uh, two 24 inch pieces of this board here. So, cut. And nothing needs to be super exact here. You can modify it, you know, with whatever you got. And then use that to measure the next part here. So there, I've got my, uh, two 24 inch pieces for my uh, screen clamp. Okay, I've got my two by four here. The two by four is about uh, four feet long, um, which is a little bit longer than I really need, but that's okay. I wanna leave it long, um, cause I wanna have uh, a little bit extra to clamp with. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut a uh, 45 degree angle off the end here. So let's go ahead. So just like that. Okay, I've got this other piece of wood here. It's about seven and a half inches wide, which is actually, I only really need about seven inches, but that extra half an inch is not gonna be a big deal. Uh, this needs to be about 24 inches long as well. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and mark this at 25. Okay, that's good. Uh, Go there, make it longer than I really need it. Okay, so this is this is my nice clean end over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the other end right at 24 inches. And that's right there. And again, this stuff really doesn't need to be that exact. So just approximately, and just clean up, make it a little bit nicer. Okay. Now that's about right. Okay, now I gotta make the shirt board, which I'm gonna cut out about a 16 inch by 17 inch uh, square out of this. Um, so if I go ahead, uh, I'm not sure which side I'm gonna use. This side has a little bit of paint on it. Uh, this side doesn't have paint on it, but it's got a few little knots in it. So I think I'm going to go ahead and use this side to then just kind of maybe sand down uh, the uh, uh, paint a little bit. Um, it's got some screw holes here. A couple screw holes there. So I'm not that worried about the screw holes though. Um, shoot. So I'm going to go ahead. They, 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 most of the screw holes are on that side. So I'm going to go ahead and use this side so if I go... 16 inch there by 17 inch there. That kind of minimizes most of the uh, little screw holes. 
So I'm going to go ahead, 16 here, get a square here. Okay, I got my circular saw here. I got some pieces of wood underneath there, kind of raising this off the ground here. And I'm going to go ahead and just cut this down. Okay, so that's 16 inches. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut 17 inches this way. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and cut this. I'll do a second line there, but... Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and put some like little angles up here on the end. So, first thing I'm going to do, measure that. That's uh, uh, 15 and 3 quarters inches. So half of that would be seven, just a little bit, seven and three eighths. So I'm just gonna mark that right there. Come down each side on maybe, uh, let's do two and a half inches on each side. Not exact stuff here. So two and a half inches. Draw a line from there down to here. Draw a line down from here. So I've got an angle there so for the for the shirt to fit over. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut these. Again, it's not that important. So there's that. Okay, just to clean the sur surface up a little bit, I'm just going to run an orbital sander over it. Okay, just a rough sand, kind of smooth down those paint marks especially. and um, I may fill these little bits with a little bit of uh, putty of some sort. Okay, the next thing to do is uh, mount the shirt board onto the uh, 2x4 here. I turn the, the uh, shirt board upside down, so now this is the bottom of the shirt board, uh, the rough side. And so I have the 2x4 here, so I have the angled part right there. I want to center it approximately, so about 6 inches there, and about 6 inches there. So I'm just going to go ahead and move it just a little bit that way. Uh, so six and a quarter there, a six and a quarter there, so that looks good that way. Um, and it should be pretty close up there, about six and a quarter there. Okay. Again, this doesn't need to be super exact. And I'm just going to go ahead and mark the board right there where the short board ends. I'm going to drill. Uh, three holes in, into here, and I'm gonna drill, put the screws in through the two by four into the shirt board so that the surface of the shirt board where the shirt will uh, lay is gonna be, stay smooth. I've got some two inch screws which will go through the two by four and into the shirt board but not through the shirt board. I've got a drill bit that's a little bit smaller diameter than this, the, uh, the screw, and I'm just gonna go ahead and put three holes through here. Okay. Screw this on here.
And be careful not to screw them so, so far that they come out through the surface of the shirt bird. Okay, now we need to attach the clamp board here, which is this uh, seven and a half inch by uh, 24 inch board there. There should be about a six inch space between the shirt board and the clamp board. So I'm gonna go ahead, just mark that there. Um, want it centered approximately on there. So it's, since it's 24 inches long, uh, 12 inches right there, center that approximately. We're going to drill a couple holes through here for the screws. Um, so just two, like right in the center here. I got a piece of wood. Do a couple more, what the heck? There we go. Okay, center that on there. Then we want it straight. So and we use the same two-inch screws on this as well. Put these in there. Okay, so now I have the two pieces of the boards uh, to make the clamp with. Um, what I'm going to do is lay them flat right on top of each other. And I, I, I bought these bolts. Uh, they're 3 8 inch bolts. And uh, they're about uh, three and a half inches long. And I have a washer and a wing nut. And so they'll go through there. Um, what I also, now I have a drill that's just very slightly larger diameter than the bolt. So what I'm going to do is lay these down flat and about an inch from the end here I'm going to drill a hole straight down through both boards try to keep it as straight as possible yep, and it's through there and then do the other side Okay. Okay, now we're going to take one of the clamp pieces and just lay it side by side this other clamp board here. And I have a piece of a strip hinge here. Um, this is just what I had. Uh, you could also use like two or three smaller hinges, but I got the strip hinge, so that's what I'm going to use. And I'm just basically going to lay it down here. Um, and first, what I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and just put it connected on one side there and put this part down so that so I know it's exactly straight with this board here okay now with this uh, strip hinge laid right up there I'm gonna go ahead and put in some of these screws uh, I don't need to, to put in all the screws just um, probably about eight, like every other hole or so and that should be enough and now I'm going to go ahead and stick the clamp part here and bring it like flush up against this uh, base part, the base, and then put some of these screws in.
Okay, so now this should move up nice and smoothly like that. I can take the other part of the clamp right there and make sure that the holes line up with on there with the bottom. Take one of these bolts, stick it up through the bottom there, put the washer there, and then the wing nut. Same thing with the other side here. Like that. Okay, here's like one of the screens that I, I like to use here. This is an aluminum frame screen and it's a uh, 20 by 16. I also uh, have some like larger screens that I use as well. Um, now how this works is, uh, I put the screen, slide it right into here. And part of the problem is that these little, uh, parts on these bolts haven't bitten into the, the back part of the board. So I go ahead, push this in, and then clamp these down, and let the, uh, the, the, the back end of the, uh, the bolts kind of bite in a little bit into the wood on the back side here. Like that. Clamp these down real tight, and those will bite in. Okay, now I can go ahead and loosen these a little bit. Okay, so I can just go ahead and slide this uh, screen into like where I want it to be. And it'll go down up until it hits the, uh, the hinge there, or I don't even need to have it all that far in there. And what you do is you put, slide the t-shirt onto the shirt board, and then line up where you want this design to hit on the t-shirt, and clamp these down. It'll hold the screen. And then you go ahead and lift this up like this. Okay, we're not done yet. What we're going to do is we want to hook up something that will hold the screen up while we're not actually printing the shirt and then we actually physically have to push it down and then it'll come back up. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to hook like a, like a little bit of a spring system here. Um, so like right in the middle here, I'm going to drill just, I have a very uh, small little hole or drill and I have these little eye screws. And so I have a, a small drill bit. I'm just going to drill like a pilot hole here in there. And then also back here, I'll drill one in. Now with some uh, vice grips here. Clamp these on a little tighter. Use this to go ahead and screw the the eye screw in. One there. And one here. Okay. Okay, now this sp spring is just too strong uh, to really reach between both of those screws. So what I'm going to do is hook it on one side. I'm going to use the there get it on, on this one here, and then I have a zip tie. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use the zip tie and put this through here like this, and then I can tighten this. I can go ahead pull this back tighten this and then adjust it to where it's going to hold the screen up to where I want it to be and then I can just physically push it down and it'll come back up and tighten it just a little bit more okay here's the finished screen printing press 
I have it mounted to a uh, kitchen table just using a C-clamp here. You can also drill a hole in the 2x4 and screw it down to a workbench if you got one around. I just have this hanging off of the end of the, uh, the table. To use it, just take a t-shirt, uh, slide it onto the shirt board, get it all straightened up. It helps to look at the, the grain of the shirt and you can make sure that the, the grain of the shirt is side by side and you kind of feel the sides of the shirt there, make sure they're even on each side. Um, you can also uh, spray like a little bit of a spray adhesive onto the shirt board so that the it actually comes sort of sticky and will actually hold the shirt in place when you go to print it. Uh, to go ahead and use it, you just go ahead and put the ink on the screen, drop it down, squeegee it on, lift it back up, pull the shirt off. If you don't have complete coverage, one of the nice things about a screen printing press is it's going to hold the screen in the exact place where you want it. Drop it down, squeegee it again, lift it up, and hopefully then you got a nice uh, image on the shirt. Anyway, this is... You can't build a screen printing press much cheaper than this. Uh, it's great for uh, doing like hobby printing or you could even uh, do a small business with this for almost like nothing to start a small business printing uh, t-shirts. You could actually even build your own uh, frames and I may do a video on that. That's how to build a, uh, a cheap uh, screen printing press.